So you let things get out of control. The pounds seemed to pile on and it was as if you weren't noticing the changes in your body. Then one day you looked in the mirror and thought, wow, I have really let myself go. Don't worry, that happens to most of us at some point in our life. As we age, love handles appear, the belly grows, there seems to be flaps of flab growing under your arms, and in general, you just don't feel as fit, strong, or flexible as you used to. The other day, you bent down to pick up a fallen coin and pulled a muscle, and you decided it was time to get fit again. Today, we're going to tell you how not only to look good and feel good, but how to get shredded. It's not as hard as you think. We're going to start by telling you a true story of a man that in his prime was a competitive weightlifter, only for an injury to sideline him for quite a long time. His couch-bound days transformed his body and what was once a chiseled physique became an ordinary body replete with bulging belly and a set of love handles a small person could hang off of. Don't worry if you've never been in great shape before like him, because his road back to being ripped is one anyone can follow, regardless of what body shape you have or have had. Although thanks to muscle memory, it'll be a lot easier for him to get back to being shredded than it would if you're not used to exercising. It's all basic stuff and you don't need to be an expert to do it, nor spend a ton of money. What you will have to do is make a plan and stick to it. We're asking you to commit maybe 30 minutes to an hour a day and make some other small changes. The transformation will be noticeable in a short period of time and the payoff will change your life. So first of all, you need to lose some weight. You know this because bending down to tie your shoes is an effort and well, the mirror doesn't lie, nor does your doctor. You might be strong, but it might not be noticeable on the outside. You want to look strong and you also want flexibility back. It's a cliche these days, but it's true. To lose weight, you can't just rely on exercise alone. Many studies have shown that Americans in general are exercising more, but many people are still overweight. Diet is important, and that's an understatement. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released a report in 2018, and this was their conclusion. Americans are exercising more, but the obesity rate is growing. The first thing you can do might sound extreme, but it's not that extreme. This is what the former weightlifter did. Go into your kitchen and look at what's in the cupboards in the refrigerator. All those highly processed foods, the stuff with empty calories, you'll throw away or at the very least don't buy them anymore. The chips, the cookies, the stuff you keep snacking on that couldn't be said to be a whole food. These things must go. You want to be eating wholesome foods, raw foods such as chicken, lean beef, vegetables for salads, whole oats, fish, some fruit, nuts, you get the picture. You don't want to be eating those sugary cereals, frozen pizzas, etc. There are a plethora of websites out there that can tell you what healthy foods are, but for now, look at what you have that's highly processed and get rid of it. We're not saying all processed food is bad, but just try and concentrate on eating what we might call nutritious food and certainly cut back on the sugar. We might also add that for many people around the world, intermittent fasting has helped them lose weight. This might mean just having a meal in the evening and then waiting 16 to 24 hours for the next meal. That includes not having sugar in your drinks. This is really not as hard as you think, and some people have even said it's the lazy person's diet because essentially it requires less effort than eating or shopping for food. It might also save you some money. We're not saying that you have to go vegan when you eat or follow a diet that makes it almost impossible for you to eat because of the time it takes you to buy all the healthy foods. It's okay to eat a burger, have some rice, but just go easy on the carbs and get rid of all the food that doesn't have a good calorie versus nutrients balance. This is already enough to make you lose weight, especially with some fasting now and again. One thing we should say about intermittent fasting though is if you have health issues, please check with your doctor before you do it. Now comes the training. If you want to get ripped, you'll need this part, of course, and it will take some effort. Saying that, you'd be surprised just how fit you can get from your own living room. We also suggest that when you can walk, walk. Get in as many steps as possible and do things like take the stairs instead of the elevator if you're not going too high up. If you work sitting down, try and get up every so often, then walk and stretch if possible. We suggest you try to work out six times a week and have a rest day. This can be any day, but sometimes your body will tell you when it's time to take a day off. Out of these six days, you can either have one or two cardio days. We understand that for some people who have packed on the pounds, running for one hour or cycling up a mountain is a big ask. Don't hurt yourself, so just do as much as you can. You can find some experts that will tell you to try to push yourself to 80%. If running is too much, in the gym you have two great machines to start on. These are the elliptical trainer and the rowing machine. Neither machine should stress your joints too much. 
You can change the settings, but again, why not tire yourself to about 80% of what you can do? Each time you use the machine, add 5 minutes to your workout. If you can row for 1 hour and halfway up the resistance levels, you're doing well. In fact, you really don't need any more than this for a good cardio workout. If you find 10 minutes is hard at rowing, the elliptical machine, or jogging, then just build up until you can reach an hour. Let's also remember that a lot of people will tell you half an hour is good to maintain weight and be healthy, but you're trying to lose weight and get ripped. Now let's say you don't have the time or the money to go to the gym. Well, there are lots of things you can do from your home. You might say a plank a day keeps the belly away, but it could be an exaggeration. But planking at least once or twice a day for as long as you can is very good for you and your shape. For ab exercises, you really don't need the gym at all. There are endless home exercise routines you can find online, some of which are free and can be found on YouTube. We warn you though, if you're a beginner, then don't feel bad if you feel pooped before the video even gets going. Some are much more high intensity than others. If you search for Spartan workout videos, you'll find some of these to be hard to follow. We don't mean understand, of course, we mean follow the guy or girl in the video as they take you through the exercises. The good thing is these videos can be seen for free, and they will get you into shape quickly especially now that you've changed your diet. You might also invest in two things. These are kettlebells and dumbbells. The dumbbell we have known for a long time, and we know what to do with these. Whether to do bicep curls, work the triceps, back, chest, or various parts of the shoulders. But kettlebells, these things are amazing. And fortunately, there are hundreds of possibly thousands of exercises and videos online showing you how these things can make you very strong. All the exercises can be done at home. Follow these exercises and you will burn fat, build muscle, and increase fitness. What about your chest? Well, again, just search to find out how to build your chest up from the comfort of your own home and you'll find scores of articles and videos. The same goes for back exercises. There are many exercises you can do that require no weights. And then, with those kettlebells and dumbbells, there are many more exercises you can do. As with the chest, there are just too many exercises you can do for your back at home for us to mention them all. Google will take you there and you'll find pictures and videos that will help you get it right. We suggest if you follow the high intensity workout videos then you follow their 5 or 6 day plan. If you don't watch those videos and create your own sessions then just do different body parts each day. Remember that you don't have to prove anything to yourself and go all out. Go at 80% and make sure you have perfect form before you add more reps or increase the weight. In all, try and do one hour of these exercises a day. But if that's not possible, start with what you feel comfortable with and just build up to one hour. With these strength exercises covering all parts of your body, as well as one or two days of cardio, plus the change in your diet, we assure you that in six months you will look like a different person. And try to see it this way. Most of us spend one hour a day just wasting time. That time wasted could transform you, give you loads of confidence, and the best thing, stave off sickness and make you live longer. As for the man we talked about at the start of the show, he lost 50 pounds in 6 months and he looked completely transformed. His advice is envision what you will look like in a few months and don't let that vision out of your mind. It's not always easy making the first move, but you'll find that once you start, you won't want to stop. You'll even feel bad for missing a day. Don't worry, everyone gets sidetracked at times, but when you do get going, you'll not only feel better physically, but you'll have more mental clarity. Exercise is as good for the mind as it is for the body. You'll notice a big difference in your overall wellness and ask yourself this. Is one hour a day of making yourself a bit tired worth the effort if you look better and feel better and are much healthier in general? Do you love strange unexpected stories that defy belief but are completely true? Then you'll love the new show I Am fascinating tales told from the perspective of those who lived them. Find out what it was like to be a plague doctor during an outbreak of the Black Death, or the captain of the Titanic as it sank into the sea. Each episode, you'll jump inside the mind of a new person and get a first-person view on incredible events like no other. New episodes every week. Be one of the first to subscribe now and tell us who you want to see brought to life in I Am.